Britain is likely to step up its support of the French military campaign in Mali. This afternoon, the Prime Minister made clear Britain will continue helping the French ferry troops and equipment to the African state. And Mr Cameron said tomorrow the National Security Council will discuss extending this support to other surveillance and transport assets. Tonight, Charlotte Cross has this special report joining one of the RAF's C-17 aircraft on the operation codenamed Op Newcomb. It's late at night in southern France and French military vehicles are carefully loaded onto an RAF C-17 aircraft. French soldiers work side by side with the RAF air movement staff as they load the trucks and soft-skinned vehicles with painstaking precision. I spent the day with the JAKE team, that's the um, Joint Air Trials Unit. They've basically been looking at the weight of the vehicle, making sure that there's nothing hidden inside the vehicle, uh, for instance, flammable liquids, things like that, checking tyre pressures, uh, basically doing a full inspection of the vehicle and checking its measurements to ensure that it fits through all the openings that we've got and that it's safe to place in certain positions on our aircraft. The cargo is destined for Mali, where France's 5th Combat Helicopter Regiment is waiting for it. Each truck weighs more than 10 tonnes. It's a heavy load. The vehicles must be positioned in exactly the right spot to balance the aircraft and keep it stable in the air. Just to get to this stage has taken hours of meticulous planning, and that's due to the challenges of working with foreign and unfamiliar equipment. But now the trucks are loaded and secured in place, ready to leave for Mali in the morning. As the sun rises, the crew ready the plane for takeoff. For more than a decade, the C-17 has been the workhorse of Afghanistan, ferrying troops and equipment back and forth. And not just British, but from all over NATO. It's been good grounding. But this is the first time this crew has flown into Mali. Looking at the terrain around the airfield or any uh, masts, particularly uh, on the charts and things that are available for, for Africa, they may not be as accurate as what we're used to um, in other parts of the world. Um, so it's terrain and obstacles and also other traffic. Um, it's, uh, you know, with, with, the, with it being a hub for the French operation, it's, uh, it, it can be a busy airfield at times. Mali is the new front line in the global fight against Al-Qaeda. And although the C-17 will land in a benign area, nobody is taking any risks. The plane is fully armed and well equipped to defeat any threat. And the RAF regiment are on board, providing force protection. Initially, the operation of the aircraft is, is the way we way we can mitigate that by knowing what's happening on the ground and acting accordingly. And then we've got the fallback option of our, of, our own, of our own equipment to mitigate the risk. After a five-hour flight, the C-17 begins its descent into Bamako. The aircraft adopts a soft posture. It's not a tactical landing as in Afghanistan. The crew don't carry weapons, which are stowed away. Only the RAF regiment prepares theirs for landing. Bamako is a civilian airport next to a military base on the edge of Mali's capital city. The French are using it as a logistical hub. All day long, cargo planes arrive carrying helicopters, armoured personnel carriers, troops and other essential kit and supplies. The RAF regiment have formed a cordon around the C-17 while the vehicles and equipment are loaded on and off. The airstrip here at Bamako is considered pretty benign. The fighting is all going on to the north of here, around 200 kilometres in that direction. But the situation remains fluid and they have to be prepared for the unexpected. The airstrip is buzzing with the sound of Puma and Gazelle helicopters taking off, practising manoeuvres or disappearing off into the African skies. A small British contingent is now on the ground here from the Joint Force headquarters as a command node and to coordinate the British flights. The first few aircraft carried uh, armoured personnel carriers. The French had a variant called the VAB, V-A-B, uh, and we've also moved some other wheeled vehicles, trucks, communications assets today and smaller vehicles similar to jeeps. There's also evidence of arriving troops from other African countries. They will bolster the number of boots on the ground under a UN Security Council resolution. Nigeria are taking the lead and the first aircraft load of soldiers is here. Their ranks will soon swell day by day as other nations arrive. The C-17 prepares to return to France. In a day or two it will be back on another sortie. Nobody can say yet how long this operation, codenamed Op Newcomb, will run or what further support the UK may provide in the coming weeks. For the French, this is a mission which is only just beginning and will last as long as necessary. 
Charlotte Cross, Forces News, Mali.